Hi, I'm Chet with Rocky Mountain Pack Systems. Today we're going to talk to you a little bit about our bino cover. Uh, this cover was designed to work with any one of these type of bino harness systems that you can find any, just about anywhere, Cabela's, Sportsman's Warehouse, or your local dealer. Uh, the cover was designed to, work, to clip onto either the right or left side of this uh, harness system, uh, depending on whether you are left or right-handed. Uh, the clips that you'll see here simply clip on to the lower section of the harness system. You don't want to clip it up on the upper section because then when you lift your binoculars up uh, it will be in your way and I'll show you that in just a second. Simply run your strap through the hook and I'm right handed so I'll put it on my right hand side. That way when it's on the lower section you throw up your binoculars you can see that it slides right down out of your way. Also uh, with this there is a uh, will come with clips on both sides. You just want to determine whether you want it on your left or right hand side. And then what you can actually do is remove the clip from the other side so that it doesn't rattle and squeak and get in your way um, while you're out there on stock. Uh, on the back side of the bino, bino cover, we've got a stretchable cord, a uh, shock cord they call it, with an adjustable um, lock here that allows you to fit most any size binoculars from eight by 32s anywhere up to about 10 by 50s is what it seems to fit. Uh, fairly well. Um, you can adjust this that way to whether you've got smaller or larger ones, how tight you want it, whether you're in a rainstorm, dust storm, or what have you. If you. Once you get this set to your specific binocular size, I'm going to zoom in a little bit here and show you a little better. You just simply want to pull this to where you want it, retie these ends, and then uh, you can cut and burn these ends of the, of, the, uh, of the shock cord to fit your binocular specifically. That way when you pop the vinyl cover on, you don't have to worry about a long dangling string out here to get in, in the way of your bow string or, or something like that when you're going to make shot. Uh, so once you get that fitted to your binoculars specifically that way, uh, you should be set to go. Once we get them tight, tightened up here, you can see it wraps around the full binoculars fully. The inside is against your body so you don't have to worry too much about that. It will protect the lenses on top and the bottom. Uh, it becomes my binocular case. I never put them in a bino uh, binocular case of any kind anymore. This becomes my case 24-7, 365 days a year. Uh, when you go to take the bino case off, if you have it adjusted to where you want it just right, you'll be able to pop it off fairly quickly. It stays connected so you can't lose it. Throw up your binos, do what you need to do, and that way you can pop it back on. I throw it over the top, and then the bottom seems to be the fastest and easiest to get it off and on. On the outside we have two pockets, one exterior pocket for stuff you want to get to real quickly. Um, you can slide in there, I can actually carry my small range finder in there when I'm doing a stock with just my binocular case. Um, another zippered pocket for uh, things, I always carry uh, lens pen, lens cloth for cleaning my lenses and things like that when I need to. And I'll also throw in some elk reeds or uh, turkey diaphragm, something like that, whatever you need that you want to get to quick. Um, I'll also leave my hunting license in there so I've got it with me at all times because I always go with my binocular case. Um, if you have any, we have these available in Max 1, Realtree AP, and also in Prairie Ghost White. We also soon will have them available in Predator Deception, uh, and you can watch for that on our website. Any questions, give us a call or check us out. Uh, shoot us an email at huntpacks, H-U-N-T. P-A-C-K-S at RockyMountainPacks.com.